Maasim Acts 4. And as they spoke unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadakim came upon them, being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Yahusha the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold until the next day. For it was now evening. Howbeit, many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about five thousand. And it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes and Hananyahu, the high priest, and Kayafa, and Yahuchanan, and Alexander, and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest, were gathered together at Yerushalayim. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have ye done this? Then Kepha, filled with the Ruach HaKadosh, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Yashadael, if we this day examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole. Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Yashadael, that by the name of Yahusha HaMashiach of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom Yah raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there Yahshua in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Now when they saw the boldness of Kepha and Yahuchanan, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them, that they had been with Yahusha. And beholding Eth, the man which was healed, standing with them, they could not say nothing against it. Rather, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle has been done by them, is manifest to all them that dwell in Yerushalayim, and we cannot deny it. But that it spread no further among the people, let us straightly threaten them, that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Yahusha. But Kepha and Yahuchanan answered and said unto them, whether it be right in the sight of Yahuwah to hearken unto you more than unto Yah, judge ye, for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all the men glorified Yah for that which was done. For the man was above forty years old, on whom this miracle of healing was showed. And being let go, they went to their own company, and reported at all that the chief priests and, and elders had said unto them. And when they heard it, they lifted up their voice to Yah with one accord, and said, Yahuwah, you are Elohim which have made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is rather and all that in them is who by the mouth of your servant David have said why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things the kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against Yahuwah and against his Mashiach 
or of a truth against your holy son, Yahusha, whom you have anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the other nations, and the people of Yashadael, were gathered together. For us to do whatsoever your hand and your counsel determined before to be done. And now, Adonai, behold their threatenings, and grant unto your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching forth your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of your holy son, Yahusha. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Ruach HaKadosh, and they spoke the word of Yahuwah with boldness. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that aught of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of Adonai Yahusha, and great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked, for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles' feet, and distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. And Yosef, who by the apostles was surnamed Barnava, which is being interpreted the son of consolation, a levi, rather, a levi, and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and brought the money, and laid it at the apostles' feet.